Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to War on the Sea. In the previous episode, I have found a task force over here, consisting of four destroyers, a light cruiser, and a heavy cruiser. My wildcats are looking at an encounter between themselves and one of their aircraft. At least that's my suspicion. I cannot skip it, so we're gonna have to do this encounter anyway. Or are we? Uh, no, we're not. That's weird. Is there something actually here or not? Could you guys pop your radar? There, new aircraft. Let me guess, you sent out another scout plane. They seem to have absolutely no shortage of scout planes. Even though I was able to take it out the last time, it seems like they still have more of them. So this scout plane needs to go. And hopefully I'm blinding the Japanese task force by just shooting down all of their aircraft. And then they won't have any warning that the Enterprise is about to strike. What? I guess it just went off the radar. But we can... How can we not see it? Because it can see you, alright. There. It's right there. 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 Hello. Thank you. Oh, you were still looking to line up a shot. Gotcha. Well done. Good attack. So, that's another aircraft downed. And now we're gonna RTB. So, with those guys blind, I'm hoping that the Enterprise can make their attack. I guess this is just some sort of... Phantom, that should be going away. Hornet's ready to launch aircraft? Sure. Uh, the Hornet doesn't yet have our new escorts, which is these two. Two destroyers are coming in. And I'm not, again, I'm not expecting anything to approach, but you never know. Let's have the Hornet set a course to meet the Washington and provide further air support for her, while she maneuvers all the way over to Buka to engage this aircraft, or airfield. Can we launch again? Yes. Good. Set a course. Keep an eye on that Japanese task force. Shadow it. I want to know where it is at all times. I want you guys to keep patrolling back and forth. And you guys, same deal here. It'd be ideal if we could have a patrol waypoint set up. Much like you have an ICBM in other games. We just say, I want you to patrol from here to there and just keep going back and forth. Because now the game makes me constantly do it manually. Uh, RTB. Send up another flight. Give me Avengers with armor-piercing bombs. Launch. That way. Where'd you guys go, huh? There aren't that many places where you could have gone. Because you were heading in, in an easterly direction. Enterprise, launch again. Dauntlesses. I forgot to launch aircraft from the Hornet, by the way. Just keep scouting out in front of the Hornet to make sure that nothing can approach me. Where the hell did you... Ah, there you are. There you are. Wildcats. Job well done. Keep an eye on them. We're going to wait till all the aircraft arrive in the area, and then we're going to do a massive attack. So, Avengers, this way. Dauntless, this way. Enterprise is ready to launch even more. I could make this a massive airstrike. Let's send out another group of Dauntlesses. Task Force 21. Great, another airstrike. Oh, this could get painful. This could get problematic. Can we leave, please? Nope. Everybody activate your radar. Incoming air strike. What are we looking at? Dive bombers. Oh, again. I already have a couple of heavily damaged ships here. This is why I need the Hornet over here and her aircraft. Because at this rate, 
the Japanese are just going to tear me to shreds bit by bit. This is also why I want that airfield gone. Can we already see the aircraft? Somebody can. Or friendly ships may leave the area. Okay, let's do that then. If I don't have to wait around for a bombardment from the sky, then great. 22 nautical miles there. Good. Keep an eye on them. Now, we're going to attack with all the aircraft at the same time. So we just have to wait for the Enterprise to be ready. Keep scouting them. This is going to be the biggest airstrike I've done with 36 planes. Avengers still have range, so that's good. What's your ETA? About half an hour. Good. You guys should be arriving soon. You're going to reinforce the Hornet. You're going to go back. You're going to go back to pick up supplies. Battle here doesn't appear to be really going my way. And over here, it's iffy. Oh, we have another load of fuel here. That's good. Fuel and engineering. So I could... Eventually, when I capture Guadalcanal, I could try and get him. There's also more troops over here. Good. Enemy aircraft spotted. Huh. Surprise, surprise. Can we bombard him yet? Loud noises, potentially. Hit. Again. Good. That's that airfield gone. Now let's begin that airstrike. Lay it on me. Or rather, don't lay it on me, but... I'm afraid I don't have much of a choice in this matter. At any rate, there won't be any more aircraft coming... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there won't be any more aircraft coming in, he said. And then he saw five... No. Six different air groups come in. Good lord, there are a lot of planes in the sky. This is going to get all sorts of problematic. The good news is, the airfield won't be launching anymore. The bad news is, the planes were already airborne. And considering that they're coming in from the east, the northeast, but also the west, I'm suspecting that we're looking at an aircraft carrier group here. Okay, so far I've downed a few. That's one flight down. What you got there? More dive bombers. Apparently no shortage of those. None of my ships are smoking. Good. As long as these guys all keep coming in in an orderly fashion, in a small group, we might have a chance. If they keep coming in in a larger group, that's when I get worried. But I am definitely concerned about the presence of an enemy aircraft carrier here. Come on. Keep backing. I'm not even sure what they're trying to hit. Huh. The Washington was hit by a direct mm. dud. Good. Could have been worse. Washington group target this flight. More dangerous. Come on. I run to really put the screws on them. They're already smoking. One, two, potentially three aircraft. There goes the third. One down. Two down. Third down. Fourth. New target. Because there's a new aircraft group coming in, and they look hungry. In the best situation, I could take out a lot of planes from that aircraft carrier. So that... Oh, crap. There goes the Tuscaloosa again. So that they're not going to be as dangerous. Wait for the Hornet to catch up, and then see if we can find him and take him out. Tuscaloosa's status. Flooding. Fire on the starboard catapult.
Well, I think we survived the worst of it. Can we leave yet? No, because I didn't start that yet. Well, that's going to be another three minutes then. But I thought there was another aircraft group coming in from here. Does Calusa, do you need to slow down? Need to break formation? Because if so, then this is a pretty safe point to do that. Just stop. I don't want to make that flooding any worse. But I will definitely have to get these cruisers, both Tuscaloosa and Juno, and probably also the Cleveland back to base to get them repaired. Because the damage is starting to add up. At least the Washington didn't get hit. Well, she got hit, but it was a dud. So she's fine. There we go. We shot down 10 aircraft out of the 24 that were airborne. How much ammo do you still have left? Some. Because shore bombardment does take a bit of work. From the battleship, that is. Bougainville does not have an airport. Uh, Shortland Islands does. We're going to head south. And I want to have this group go here. And so does this group. Because I'm thinking that there might be an aircraft carrier group somewhere around here. Probably more to the north, but they might come down south. At any rate, I think that we're just about ready to engage with all the aircraft from the Enterprise. Let's stack them all up. Oh crap, these guys are almost out of fuel. That sucks. Yeah, they're going back to base. That means I just have 24 Dauntlesses. Well, just. I have 24 Dauntlesses here. But these guys, too, are starting to run out of fuel. There we go. Tactical. Alright, 24 Dauntlesses. A couple of surface ships. And it looks like I also have my subs. The Cerro and the Corvina. But where is your surface group? Hello there. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, we need to plan this strike. Because you got six ships out there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six strike wings. So that should be sufficient. Now there's still some debate about which attack formation is best. I'm still not exactly sure. I'm just going to give these guys all their separate orders. And since they're bombers, they don't really need any identification. So that's going to make my life a bit easier. Target 4. Target 5. And target 6. Alright. Engage. 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 And engage. 24 aircraft. 6 surface ships. The fight is on. Bring it. Can we see him? Yes, we can see him. They're down there. I mean, it would be weird if they're up there, but okay. They're down here. I'm not sure if this is going to kill them. Um, if I can kill the cruiser, great. If I can kill a destroyer, nice. But my main priority is to kill the cruisers. You know what? I'm going to send... Two wings against target two. And another two against target three. So two of the targets will not get hit. Or well, they might get hit, but they won't get attacked. And that way I'm hoping to make the life on the DD Hunter group, those two Atlanta classes, easier. Because they won't have any cruisers to contend with. Here's one of the flights, and there's the other flights. Yeah, over there. This is going to get interesting. It's going to make for a pretty show, I think. So sit back, grab the popcorn, and ready your dive bombs. I was just on the receiving end of an attack like this, but I prefer to be on this part. 
this end of the bombing, of the, the, the bombing runs. First wave is diving in. Can we get a good screenshot of that? No, not when they're on pause. There. Dud? Great. Do we get any hit? Direct hit by a dud bomb. Oh, that one got hit. Dud. Target force hit. They also bombed the cruiser. Dud. Not all of them now. Okay, I think we have everyone. Get out. Okay, damage report. Enemy fleet. Moderate, moderate, heavy. It's not critical. My submarines are still in the area, but they're way too far away. They're 34,000 yards out. So before these guys get in, it's going to be way too much time. So I guess we're just going to have to wait for all the aircraft to leave. And then do another attack. Unfortunately, the damage won't stick. That sucks. Now, we lost one Dauntless. But look at how badly we left the Japanese. Oh, hi. You want to be in the frame? If you want to hide the HUD, by the way, to take a screenshot, F10. Can we leave? No? Damn, I was really hoping to sink that cruiser. And it's now already almost 1900, so it's going to be tricky to launch further aircrafts. Might be done. But it's cutting it really close. Come on. Let's get out of here. Our job here is done. Well, sort of. Lost one aircraft. Moderately damaged the destroyer number four. Cruiser two, heavy damage. But no kills. Enterprise, can you still launch stuff? Because if so, we're going to do that right now. Ah, oh, not after 15 or 1700. Shit. All right. All right. Exactly how Masashi slipped out, I don't know. But she could be fairly close to the Enterprise at this point. Which is not really something I would like to see. But it's not something I can avoid either. Oh. 19 has him. Okay. Six and a half thousand yards. Okay. But they're moving away, are they not? Yeah, they're already moving away. This is a bad attack vector. I'm not going to go through with this. Hold on, they're changing course. They're coming right at me. Wait. Oh, and I still have aircraft? You guys are empty. So, are you guys still damaged? Moderate. Minor, minor, none. We're going to slow down and see if these guys are continuing on their way south. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're still sort of coming at me. I'm going to see if I... Nope, they're changing course again. And again. What are you doing? Why are you wiggling like this? Still, this might be the opportunity that I'm looking for to sink the cruiser for once and for all. Do 
Do we have a layer we can duck under? We do, a 2-4-1. Okay. Target 2? Yeah, still target 2. Alright, buddy. I know what you are. At least, I think I do. You're a Takao. And you are also, as it happens, the main target for the Saro. The challenge is going to be to land torpedoes on her. Right, stop. Start building a solution on the Takao. Corvina, activate your radar. Where's the other cruiser? You. Uh, what was it? A Sendai? Yeah, it could be the Jinsu. Does it line up? It does. Corvina, she's yours. At least that's the plan. I need you to slow down. Very, very much slow down. Uh, silent running. They keep coming right at me. It's almost like they know exactly where I am. There's a layer 241. We're going to go down 250. One knot. Means we're going to be blind because I don't use or I, I cannot use radar anymore. But we might be able to pop up really close to the Takao. That's the active sonar from I think target six. This is going to be a really really close encounter. Current depth two five zero. I'm already running silent. Two knots. Can you see me or not? It's right there. Oh, yeah, they know where I am, alright. Secure from silent. What? Oh, you're still information. Okay. Oh, damn it. I'm being depth charged. Uh, can we launch? <sighs> Tricky. Damage report. Flooding. Bow torpedoes are out. These submarines are so screwed. Solution against the Sendai is 50-50. Give me active sonar. And so far as we still have a sub that can use that. Another... Mm. Yeah. This is going to be another big, big mishap. You flooding? I mean, not happy, that's for sure. So we can get back to about 100 feet. Although I think this submarine is done for. Let's see if the Sendai can attack. Or it can be attacked. Yeah, fuck it, just launch. No, not manual. Too deep. Okay. Go 30 feet. 40 feet, maybe. Sero is currently at 376. She's done for. Emergency blow. Let's see if I can still get her to the surface. Maybe throw out some torpedoes on the stern, or at least cause a distraction so that the Corvina can still try and do an attack run against the Sendai. Although the Sendai is way close. These Japanese ships are really angry. Come on. Up to 40 feet. I 
We need to sink the Takao. If I sink the Takao, I might have a better time trying to get rid of the others using the Destroyer Hunter group. The Atlantis. Zero is sinking. Crap. Build me a solution. 30 feet. Solution 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46. If I can trade a destroyer, or sorry, um, a submarine for a heavy cruiser, I'll take it. We're just coming up directly under the Sendai. Solution 58. Activate radar. Give me the scope. Hello! <laughs> Jesus! Don't mind me, I'm just here talking to your heavy cruiser. Solution 80. Good enough. Send out all the torpedoes. Six degree spread, or sorry, two degree spread, six torpedoes. Let's see if we can hit the Takao, even if she's only at a range of a thousand yards. It's not great, but we're gonna have to make do. New target, Sendai. Stop building a solution on the Takai, start building on the Sendai. The only thing that I'm hoping for is that I can sort of make it difficult for these guys to get a drop on me because I'm in the middle of their formation. Takao is turning. Whoa! What the f... I had a pretty good solution on this guy, but I'm not sure what the torps are up to. Or the ship is already turning. Maybe that's it. Probably way too close of an encounter. Solution on the Sendai is decent, but she's now over there. Hello. <laughs> Corvina is right in the middle of that group. Oh man, I really mucked this one up as well, didn't I? I really mucked this one up. Apologies for that. I should have approached this completely different. I should have just had the Dauntlesses engage the Takao instead of as I was doing it right now. It's just not working. From starboard. I'm kind of worried about target six here. Takao still turning. The whole shoot and scoot thing is not quite going to work, but I think it's hilarious. I'm in the middle of their division, or their, their formation. Range 550. Range to target six. 260 yards. Come on, Corvina. Starboard turn. Range 450. It's pretty busy here. It's almost like these guys mean to do me harm. Was it something I said? Are you gonna just take me down yourself? You d do you have depth charges by any chance? No. Yes, you do. Oh. Well. I guess that explains it. No, uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to surface. Hello. Are you just going to try and ram me or something? Look at this. Close encounters much. Ooh. Cut that out. What if I surface right now? What if I ram the enemy? Does that work? I mean, this submarine's toast as it is. What? No way. <laughs> Oh, that was glorious. 
<laughs> Just lifted a whole heavy cruiser out of the water. <laughs> By a submarine. Oh, that was fantastic. That was worth the loss of <laughs> that submarine. <laughs> What's the report on the damage? None. <laughs> I'm not sure if the devs were ever planning on a submarine being able to get this close to a cruiser and then crazy enough to surface. <laughs> oh well. That made it all worth it. Uh, loss of two submarines, no damage was done. Well, to my ego, but that was kind of already caused in one or two episodes ago. Anyway, um, on that laugh, I'll let you guys go with this episode. Next time, we're going to try and engage with the Enterprise again. Provided that it's daytime that we can actually launch aircraft. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a good laugh out of that last encounter. And I'll see you soon for the next one.